At Rafi, we invest in research and manufacturing. This is something very important to us. Um, we, we design for four things. The first thing that we start with is user requirements, right? So we design to meet a user requirement. Second is we design for the physics involved. It's very important to design for physics. The third one is designing for manufacturing, right? And usually, sometimes it's a lot of work actually to design for the right manufacturing, right manufacturing process. And the fourth one is design for quality. And then ultimately, those are the four pillars to keep in mind as you're designing. So one, one, over one million kilometers of flight is, uh, was a big milestone for us. And I think the, the reason for that is that the company has increased the complexity of the systems incrementally. So that, that's the engineering approach of going after incremental complexity and, and building systems that initially was, let's say, a man portable UAV, uh, something that would fly for 30 minutes. Then you would go to something a little bit bigger that would fly for about an hour. You go something slightly bigger that would go for an hour and a half. And throughout these developments, just taking incremental steps. And so that you're, you're building reliable systems and you're gaining more and more experience as you go. And uh, at some point you realize you have hundreds of those UAVs flying for hours and hours and, and it just adds up to over a million kilometers. Yeah, I think, I think it's a game changer when you have the ability in-house to do material selection and design end-to-end -end every part that goes into a drone. And, and, and you have the full end-to-end -end design and manufacturing in the same building. And if you do that in the same building, you can have a closed-loop iteration. And, and that innovation starts on one floor, design a part that gets manufactured on another floor, gets assembled and tested, and you get that feedback right back to the design team. And so closing that loop in the same building has been super helpful. So our founders are technical leaders, right? So we have three co-founders and each of them is the technical leader of one vertical of the company. We believe in research, all of them have been trained in research. We, we, we see the value of doing research before you do anything. Um, we all value the science behind every design that we have. And we know that investing in the skills of mathematicians and physicists and computer science pays dividends over time. So this is the commitment of the company and the investment we're making in the future. Because all of the work that you see here, you see a lot of work in designing and you see a lot of work, work in manufacturing. And those skill sets, we can actually apply them everywhere, whether it's in the electronic section, in the software section, in the material section, we can, we can actually use all the skill set across all those different verticals. Great question, and like I mentioned earlier, what we focus most about is design for user requirement, right? Design for user requirement, physics, manufacturing, and quality. So at the end of the day, the user requirement is always in everyone's mind, right? So the work of the team is to integrate whatever is required so that the overall system and the way it's operated and the way it's actually being brought to the site has been well thought out. So that's why on the site here, like on this stall here today, you see both the drones as if they're about to fly and the drones that are folded. And the reason you, we show you this is because we, we truly care about how you're gonna actually use the drone in practice on the field, right? If you are going to just have a drone with this aspect ratio and not fold it, it will be very difficult for you to transport it. So these type of consideration is always there in people's mind. The integration and, and how are you gonna bring them to site, how are you gonna operate it is, is always there in the mind. Yeah. So our priority is very simple, we're a technology company. Right now we're investing and we have very strong verticals in India in terms of electronics, number one. We design and manufacture our own mill grade electronics. Then in internal combustion engine, second. So we have the largest 3D printing of metals of India. And this is a vertical where we design and manufacture our own internal combustion engines. 
And the third vertical is the composite materials. And here we are also looking at both new materials as well as all the types of airframes and, uh, and parts that we make using these type of materials. So we are actually the, on, the, uh, on the hiring side, uh, we, we not only believe in technology, but we also believe in investing for the long term. For the long term. So what, what we're trying to also do is, is to train the next generation of technicians and technical leaders here in India. And it's exciting every week. I, I, I receive messages from people who grew up in India and studied in Europe or studied in US, and they start hearing about the innovation that's happening here. And then they realize that I actually, you know, moved to India. And, and and you see the excitement of bringing talent to India from every state of India as well as from outside. And that is also equally important, is thinking about the long term, bringing people to work on innovation, learn about those uh, new technologies and actually practice them uh, and building new products.